And we have Derby Fair on the menu today, and we never tire of bringing you this fixture, the Nerazzurri against the Rossoneri. My name is Derek Ray, and alongside me here on the commentary position is Stuart Robson. Stuart, a lot to look forward to here. Well, Derek, this is Italian football at its very best. Great atmosphere, two teams with a wonderful history and a big rivalry. This should be good today. And Milan's lineup looks like this. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. And the striker today is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Inter's lineup is as follows. Samir Handanovic gets the nod in goal. Stefan de Frey plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. A potentially fascinating 90 minutes ahead of us. And Milan get the ball rolling. This is looking threatening. Diaz. And a goal! The first in the derby goes to the Rossoneri. Amazing scenes. Breathtaking stuff. Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end. But I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. Well, back underway here, and that really should shake up into a bit, you would think. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. And looking towards the back post. And it might have made life difficult for the keeper, but that's a strong punch. And behind it's gone for a corner. Playing it short. Dangerous ball. Well, he didn't have too much room to work with, but a long way off target. Sandro Tonali. Davide Calabria. Now with Ibrahimovic. Rafael Leao. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Ibrahimovic and the keeper diving to thwart him. Over it comes. And he did what he had to do defensively. And he takes on the shot. Oh, good work by the keeper. Delivering it. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick.
Barella. Perisic with the ball. Now, what can Inter do from this position? And still danger here. And a goal. It was served up on a silver platter for him. Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, he doesn't read the danger at all, does he? It's a poor piece of goalkeeping. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Now Milan could be onto something. And the cross into the middle. Was showing good defensive judgment. Diaz. Could go ahead. Superb stop. Well, they're playing well now, and these fans can sense a goal coming. And there's the delivery. Not all that convincing defensively. And problem solved for now. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And a chance to whip it in here. Well, it was a superb counter-attack. Not such high marks for the finish. Well, the build-up to the shot was great. Good defending, quick transition and excellent movement. It just needed a much better finish. And dispossessed. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Effective pressure to regain possession. Well, that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Alessandro Bastoni. I must say, this looks promising. Dzeko takes aim well he had the confidence to try his luck and denied only by the post well the keeper was beaten he hit it so cleanly it's just the wrong side of the post well they won't come closer than that but they are creating chances and surely a goal is coming Brahim Diaz and teammates to play it to sends it back well the keeper is happy the bar was there Chalanolu Brozovic Dzeko and a shot from some way out. Determined block. The cross is on. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Brahim. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Dzeko. Well, the cross didn't get past the first defender. Determined defending. Well, the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? Wonderful stop. Sandro Tonali.
Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, Lautaro Martin. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Chalanolu. Brozovic. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. It has to be! And the keeper caught there. And a short corner, let's see. And Perisic prepared to fire. Well, the danger is still there. And in the end, no damage done. Oh, he's given the ball away. And out for a throw-in. Just misfiring with the pass. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Might jump in front. Well, he really tried to connect with it, but a long way off target. Well, this is such a good watch. Both teams have played their part in a great game with plenty of good forward play. I'm sure we'll see more goals before the end. Dzeko. The ball with Martinez. Intelligent threaded pass here. Real chance. On his own with only the keeper to beat. But he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. That's why he's missed the target there. And into the last 30 minutes now. And very deftly cut out. Diaz. He's in here. And a goal! In the lead again. Fully deserved. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And we'll find out a lot about Inter's attitude in the aftermath of that concession. And they know they need to stop him. He's beaten his man. Fine cross into the middle. Struggling to get it away. And dispossessed. Kessier. Ibrahimovic. It did look on for them, but not to be. Well, he was being pressed, but did his job. Kessier. Tonali with it. Well, he's got past his man. Chance to finish. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. 
Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plomb. It's a great goal. So back underway at 3-1. In behind for him to chase, but he drifted into an offside position. Well, he just thought about the pass for a fraction too long, and that's why it's offside. Well, not long to go now, Stuart, and Milan quite simply have bossed this one. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball, and they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. Barella. Just 10 minutes to go. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Martinez. And they do like to press whenever they can. And plenty of space for this inter attack. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Gives it a go. Still a chance. And that will be a corner. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And the corner here from Marcelo Brozovic. Not away completely. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And play halted, free kick given. Well, no booking comes from it, but he's going to have to tread carefully here. Well, I think that's great refereeing. He doesn't want to be throwing cards about willy-nilly. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Can he finish this? Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Dumfries. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Fed over towards the back post. Ibrahimovic. And that'll be offside. Now we can say it's final and we can say that Milan have officially prevailed. I wonder what you felt about their overall performance. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.